Just like other airports around the world, the Hosiakutako International Airport had to cease normal operations early as March due to the outbreak of COVID-19. Six months down the line, the International Airport reopened, but this time travelers would be subjected to rigorous health control measures. There is only one entry point where the travelers would have their details recorded before proceeding to check-in, security screening, immigration and other counters. Perhaps the most interesting one is the temperature screening point with an alarm system to sound off as soon as high temperatures are detected. The airport will also be frequently be disinfected, uh, so will the, uh, the, the tray bins that are used at the immigration and the security counters. Uh, our staff at the airport as well will be wearing their mask at all times and uh, some will be also having uh, gloves on to, to work with your paper and, and, and your bags and so on. The NAC estimates that it was losing about $42 million daily since the first lockdown came into effect. The company is not expecting a fast recovery from these and other losses. It's quite a substantial amount of money that we have lost and uh, we are just hoping that this process will start. The, revival, uh, the tourism revival project will give us um, something to start on and then and, and try to move forward. We know it's a very fragile environment in the world. We know there will be issues with it. So far, there's only one scheduled flight to land here this week, and that is the Ethiopian national flag carrier. The NAC could not give the exact number of passengers it is expecting to welcome from that particular flight, but says it remains realistic given the decreasing volume of travelers, not just here, but the world over. This is because of the toll the COVID-19 pandemic has on international travel, with losses predicted at over 84 billion U.S. dollars. The resumption of travel for any purpose, therefore, would further rely on passenger confidence in the COVID-19 containment measures. The NAC is partly pinning its hopes on the country's summer season to boost tourist arrivals particularly from Europe and Asia. It's better than nothing, and we're really looking forward to making the bid that we'll be making. It will really go a long way in helping us uh, cover our expenditures. Flights of airlines from Qatar, Ethiopia, the Netherlands and Germany with the direct routes to Namibia were suspended in March, but government says all would be allowed to land now. The Tourism Revival Initiative is being trialled with tourists from countries considered low risk to COVID-19. Blanche Gores says NBC News, Ventuk.